Okay, ring rosy, focus group screening. It's going to be filled with two of the characters putting some flowers onto a graveside, and then a hand will come out of the grave and grab them that so hasn't been put in yet. Just in case you're wondering what the storyline is. So they go to the churchyard and they're going to put some flowers on a grave, and then these hands are going to come out, and also a bunch of other zombies are going to come out of the grave. Keep going. Just as you're writing, I'll just type. fake black rose and a fake poppy, red poppy, so the colours of it will kind of match in as well, probably on the grave. Um, anything, Sam? I thought the narrative was pretty clear, like that, sort of understood what's going on. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I mean, granted it's not like sort of all that, but I can still sort of grasp the general sort of idea. A good old classic zombie attack, I think you kind of can't go wrong with it, really. Uh, anything else that people liked? Um, Michelle. That song is like a child of mine, so it's like really creepy. Because like, you know, everyone would sort of think, you know what I mean, 
Do you know what it's about? No, I don't like that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's about the plague. Is it? The Black Plague, yeah. And the whole the tissue of tissue, we all fall down. That's when they catch it and then they all die. So, so the actual kind, isn't it weird that you teach your children that whole thing? Yeah. Yeah, and the pocket full of poses is what you put on the grave and stuff. But, yeah, I think it's like zombies, isn't it? Yeah, so it's very kind of sinister, but yeah, with the kids singing as well, it makes it even worse. Jordan, anything you'd like? Um, I thought the good use of gold. The bite to the neck yeah. works. Did you notice any problems with the video quality in that, Joe? Oh, no. Um, oh, good stuff. Tell me good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I like the characters. They're all like conventional, like, dark hair, like killing all the zombies. Badass. Paul and Anna, those are some extra shots of Anna's, like, close-ups. Were you okay with it? I didn't freak out. I've only made them, like, ten times. <laughs> Did you think the cross-cutting worked, though, with the zombies and Anna's face looking badass? Yeah. Hands up if you think that works all right. Okay. Well, that's not bad, actually. Yeah. The only thing that got me was, do you know when it started, like, towards the end, I thought there was going to be a jump scare, because that built tension, the fact that it was, like, cross-cutting, and I was like, ah, oh, so I was, like, looking away, and then no. I think it would be good if you got a jump scare in the end. Did so everyone on the stuff to improve, did you all feel it needed a stronger ending? Yeah. Because I have got a massive theory for this. Next week, what we need, I think, is loads more zombies. Because we've only got a couple at the moment. Oh, cool bite and stuff. But what we're going to do next week, when we finish a lesson and we kind of near to what I'm teaching you and it will kind of go nicely with the next lesson, I'll end the lesson like 15 minutes early and we'll all go down to the graveyard as a group, all right, and surround Anna. And on the way down there, we'll grab anyone else that you know on the way there. So if we can get up to, say, 40 of us as zombies. No makeup needed, all right? And what we're going to do is have Anna in the middle with a gun, kind of looking really scared, kind of going around with this gun and stuff, as we all start closing in. And that can be the end of the trailer. And, like, film it from loads of angles. Then you can hear just the sound of gunshots and stuff. Mia. That's a good, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so cut, yeah, before the actual moment of it. Just have, I wonder whether, because the cut of the shot the close up because it looks slightly different, but maybe a close up with your finger on the trigger, I thought, and then cut just as it's about to be squeezed. Um, Jordan and then Charlie. Um, I thought the inner and kind of faded out too quick, couldn't read it. Then Did everyone else think that? Too, who thought they were too quick? Hands? Okay, I think that's enough to make them a bit longer. I, yeah. But I, well, you can work out what's been said, just the same as the lyrics in the song. Yeah, pretty much. But, I don't know, still, this, it gives you a little break of reading. Charlotte? I don't know if it matters, because you think when she takes the gun out, and when she does the shoot, her outfit's different. Yeah. Yeah, so it's. Yeah, have to matter, be It does matter, <laughs> yeah. It's continuity. And things like that happen. I've seen movies well-known movies where that stuff happens. There's a moment in Blade Runner where someone's got one arm broken or injured where he falls through the car window. No, it's um, Chris, isn't it? Yeah. And then in the next scene, the other one is injured and stuff. And it's like, they always take photos every day, but sometimes they mess up. Sam? Which one? Towards the end, was he running out of forest? Could have been, yeah. So more variety of zombie shots. Yeah. Yeah. And I think just in general, just more, a few more zombies, really. <laughs> Michelle? I reckon they should do the death scenes in the church. Because why did they just go, why was the zombies in the woods? My other weird thing, which no one has said, is, um, well, the, they're in the woods, great, yeah, and maybe she runs into the woods so you can have some sort of fill shot. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah, so it needs to be a shot to tie in the two of them and stuff. Um, yeah. The other thing which no one knows is why the hell is Anna and why Dana and Anna have got guns? Isn't that weird? You go to the church to put some flowers on a grave, <laughs> but you happen to have some guns on you. But no one will know that. And we do live in Great Yarmouth, so, <laughs> you know, when the examiner sees it, they'll be like, yeah, well, Great Yarmouth is a bit tough. All right, that'll do for that one.